Hey everyone, I'm uh, very excited about this video because I've written a standard library and in that standard library there are two very important uh, functions, namely free and you guessed it, malloc. So we've got dynamic memory, memory allocation. So that's really cool. And it was quite interesting to implement this because it's actually the first serious implementation I've done in the ELO. It was quite interesting to see how uh, I had to debug things and uh, I've added um, things like assert. So the, the code is full of uh, asserts like this. Uh, because otherwise I couldn't find the bugs. Um, this also means that I already know what we're going to do next time, which is type checking, because a lot of the bugs would have, would have been noticed by the type checker. So that would save a lot of time. But um, yeah, let's see how, uh, how Malloc works. So uh, normally when you use Malloc in C, what malloc will use is uh, most of the time it's something called mmap man so, yeah so uh, what mmap does it uh, you can use it in a lot of different ways but how we're going to use it is uh, you give the size of the memory block you want and some uh, flags about uh, its protection and stuff and it gives you back a pointer to that memory but the problem is uh, we cannot choose mmap for every little uh, malloc um, because there's a lot of overhead. The syscall is, uh, yeah, there's a lot of overhead in the syscall. So um, the same goes for uh, mmap to use as a sort of free. So you don't want to use this for small memory allocations. So what we do is we use mmap to allocate a page which is in in our case is uh, four kilobytes of memory and then within that page we have smaller blocks we can allocate and that allocation logic uh, we ha have had to write ourselves All right so i've uh, to make things easier uh, i've written some uh, i've created some graphs which uh, dot files, uh, let's see, online, on, and dead graph, yeah. So this is the flowchart of malloc. I've, I've done the same for uh, free. Uh, and this shows us what we have to do. So. I'll first show you what the structure is of a, a page. So a page has uh, some metadata, uh, page metadata, which are a couple of bytes, bytes in the beginning of the page. Um, previous page and next page. There are two pointers in the beginning of the page to the previous page and the next page. So that's it. Then you have the blocks. And each block also has metadata. For example, uh, a free Boolean, which uh, lets us know if we can use the block to uh, allocate of, or if it's already been allocated. Its size, so we know its size and when the next block begins, stuff like that. So yeah, things like this are in the block metadata. And if you malloc, um, it first goes to um, the next page. If there is no page, which is this case, then we use mmap and we initialize the page. So we set the metadata and we set one big empty block in the page. So then we have the page and uh, then we go to the blocks within that page and we search for the first block, which is free and has enough space. When we don't find it, when we don't find 
um, an available block. We go to the next page. And again, if there is no next page, we create a next page. But if there is a block which has enough uh, is big enough for the malloc, then um, then we check: Do we need to split the block, or could we use the whole block? Uh, because you can use the whole block if the size is exactly equal to the to the needed malloc size. And if it's not, you have to split it up. So this is like how we've implemented it. So, and uh, free, what free does, I'll show you free. Free is uh, also quite simple because you go to the block, uh, which has to be freed. And then you check, is the next block free? Uh, is there a next block and is it free? If so, you merge the blocks. So you add the sizes and uh, move the next uh, pointer. And if the previous block exists and is free, then you merge uh, with the previous block. And then you check in that page if there is only one block, and it must be free because you just freed it. If there's only one block, then you unmap the page. So that's uh, how free works. So that means that uh, I can give an example. For example, uh, I've written a lot of tests uh, for the standard library. Uh, let me see. And this is an uh, an easy one. You allocate five bytes, and you write to those bytes with uh, set C. I'll update the. Uh, the syntax. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, this has the uh, updated syntax. So uh, you set each character, and then you give that dynamically allocated memory to puts. So now we can implement a lot of interesting things. Uh, the first things I want to implement are like string manipulation functions. So to concatenate strings and stuff like that, copy strings or copy parts of strings. So we can uh, make those kind of things uh, a lot easier. And like I said in the, uh, in the beginning of this video, well, implementing it was really fun, but it was really hard to debug. It was like one big puzzle. So we really need type checking if we want to implement a self-hosted compiler on this. So the next video will be about that, about the type checking. Um, but yeah, it's it's really nice that this works. And I've uh, added uh, tests uh, for small uh, allocations, for large, excuse me, large allocations. So this is uh, 500 kilobytes, but you can make it even bigger. Um, and for many allocations, so, and with many, I mean, it's more than one page. So a lot of small ones. So yeah, that's it. And it all seems to work. Um, so I've also written to, to check if free works and if malloc works. Uh, one important one was the middle test. So you create a, a linked list. You append a couple of nodes to that list. You delete one of the nodes, and then you add another couple of uh, nodes. So after this, it's uh, like like one, two items, three items, four items, four items here. You delete the second item, so you get one. You get empty freed memory and then three four and then you append more so it, it will be like uh one five three four and then we check is uh is four 
which is, yeah, I called it five here, but it's actually four. Is four before three and three before five. So after this, I know that the hole in the memory, to call it like that, the hole in the memory has been filled up with a new node. So we know that malloc and free work as it's intended. So yeah, that's really awesome. Um, so yeah, I hope you found it interesting. If there are any questions about this, please let me know. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>